Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com using tarot to help you do the inner work, heal yourself and create the life that you truly want to live as a result. This is today's tarot, it's for all signs. It's for Tuesday the 22nd of October 2024. I hope you're doing well. I do a daily meditation live here on my channel now because I'm committed to meditating personally every single day. I thought I'd do it live, so inviting you to commit to meditating every day along with me. You can do it live, you can do watch the replay, do it, but it's there's power in us meditating together. So I would love to have you as part of that. Check it out here on my channel. Now, what's in the energies for everybody today? We've got threefold protection, transcendence, overcoming something and follow the signs. Follow the yellow brick road. Threefold protection, protect yourself, other people protecting you, universe protecting you too. Universe protects you. It doesn't allow you to have lower energy stuff. You try and manifest it, and the universe is like, no, you don't even know what you're asking for. You don't want that. So transcend that, overcome that, follow the signs to what is truly your path. Following our path, spiritual path yesterday. Well, and every day, really. <laughs> Vulnerab vulnerability and intuition. So your intuitive nudgings, that path that's opening up to you. You might think, well, this can't be right because that's not the path of ease or <laughs> that's requiring a bit of courage. It makes you feel vulnerable. And yes, often we're not, we're not playing. We're not here to, to, to mess around. A, a lot of us that have come here as old souls with empathy and like wondering why is no one else like, why can't that anyone else behave properly? You know, <laughs> if you're with me on that. You're here, you're here at this time for a good reason, not to just to do nothing and breeze through life and, and, and manifest shiny things for yourself. <laughs> flow, let your worries drift away and go with the flow. You see, you're protected. We're not asked to do like massive things, but we're also not asked to do nothing. We're not here just for ourselves as like a selfish thing, but along the path, we do need to start prioritizing ourselves more and then tune in and get on path, you know? So go with the flow, even if it makes you feel vulnerable. Often, like, the stuff that makes us feel vulnerable it is the inner work, you know? Manifestation, the magician. Manifesting using the resources that we've got. Which resources that we've got, two of them are minds and our hearts. Or to put it another way, electrical and the magnetic. So to put it another way, we're thinking and feeling about something. That's what manifests using that energy to manifest the seven of swords this is the bs card this is the lies we tell ourselves or other people tell us too what you think might be true but isn't could sometimes comes from victimhood mentality that we tell ourselves lies from victimhood mentality five of swords said there's some like kind of fight inside we're fighting with yourself fighting with reality fighting the whole universe Page of Swords. Okay, an onlooker. Let's get into this. Why is the magician here? What are we manifesting? I need to set out on a new manifestation. Oh, every day, every time. She's just got to be a part of it every single time. Huh? Got to be in on it. Justice. Manifesting justice. Right. Now, I see this card as like many layers of her being revealed. The true you coming out more and more and more, right? And as the true you comes out more and more and more, as you know yourself, you manifest things that are much more aligned with yourself. We're getting to more and more alignment, right? Peeling back the layers. Now, vulnerability comes out, right? When we're doing that shadow work, it's not easy. Most people don't do it. Most people just repeat the same crappy patterns that people before them repeated. It's like, oh, well, if they're doing it, I'm doing it. I'm not going to be the odd one out, you know? Most people are like that, but we're not like that, right? I'm not like that. New beginnings is behind that. So you're manifesting something as a new, a new you emerges. What you can manifest as the new you it's different than before because your mind and your heart changed. Seven of Swords, but this is the BS we tell ourselves. And I was getting something about victim mentality. Victim mentality about your success or lack thereof. Hierophant. Hierophant is about the 
the trodden path, the way it's usually done, the way success is usually done, for starting something but t having having courage to do something differently. Off the beaten path is what I'm getting for this. Success off the beaten path. It's the better way, really. I mean, I say that as an entrepreneur. It's difficult. <laughs> it is difficult, it's challenging, but I wouldn't want to be part of the systems that I see around. I'd rather be doing this than anything else. There's healing energy behind that too. So the healing energy the makes you feel vulnerable. It does get you on a better path, but it makes you vulnerable then. Because by far the easiest path is the wrong path. Because that's the comfortable path. The comfortable path is the wrong path. Five of Swords is a battle within. Here's the thing, it might seem like narcissists are getting everything and they're happy. They're not happy. They might have a lot of money, they're not happy. Constantly grasping, hungry ghosts. They're not happy. You've got more than them, you don't realise. Or perhaps you do realise. Five of Swords in the Tower. Something's falling apart or something needs to fall apart. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of change, but it's not... It feels bigger than it actually is. The change feels bigger than it actually is. It can just be a mindset shift and that can be it. And you're manifesting something completely different. Often all we have to do is give ourselves permission to, do, to go about things differently. And everything changes. Integration. So you've probably had ideas already but aren't, haven't been willing to perhaps throw something away or do something completely different. It will seem like you're, the path that you've been on being a more comfortable path, but the wrong path is easier than the other one. You think that the flow path, mm. you think that the, the the true path is asking, going to ask more of you, but it's actually easier. There's lots of contradictions, appearing contradictions in the universe. Page of Swords, someone's unlooking. Who's, who's this? Who's this energy? Four of Inspiration. Four of Inspiration can be the card of marriage. Often in this last column we get stuff about relationships. Whoa! What's behind that is struggle and joy. Someone that is... Well, this might be the person that you're supposed to be with. At the moment they're having a hard time letting themselves be joyful. And so they're not choosing... They're not choosing the path that's got you on it at the moment for some of you. Let's get deeper into that. Singles. What's the energies for singles, please? She's flapping her ear down so I don't hit her with the cards. She gets hit with tarot cards a lot, this cat. She just, she wants to be in amongst it these days. Right where the cards are on top of them. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Some of them are harder than others there. <laughs> and it's best to learn, right? It's best to learn. And perhaps not prioritise romance so much. Unleash your kindest self to yourself. Be kind to yourself. What else? What else for our singles, please? Healing your heart. And fun. Have some fun. And fun doesn't have to be with another either, you know. Just be with life, with friends, with everybody, with the community, with your community of empaths that you're building around you. Wild abandon and specialness. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this, let it all go with this wild abandon, throw caution to the wind, follow the path, you know, the universe knows what you want and it knows who's on your path too, just need to follow it, I mean, we don't need to coerce the universe, it's not like the universe is saying, no, your path, to, there's, there's no love for you on that path and, and we've got to like persuade it by focusing on romance all the time, we don't have to do that, we don't have to persuade the universe that we, we, we deserve love. <laughs> 
it knows. It's going to come along. What else today? Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Throne, position of authority. Peacock, beware of great pride. So someone's got position of authority, great pride. Bird flying, news is on its way. Well, think of a yes or no answer question. I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer, but it's just a bit of fun. It's a general reading, not a personal one. If you do want a personal reading, they're available from my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Get them out within 24 hours at the moment. Anything from one question readings to soul contract readings about why you're even here this time. What you incarnated to do. Your dharma, your karma, all kinds of things. Eh? How best to deal with these energies today? We've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you build. It, I'm getting like life path stuff. You see, there's a spiral in the middle of this card. I'm getting life path stuff. It's, it's built. You know... We can think that the Ten of Pentacles is about a house and a picket fence and all of that kind of thing. 2.4 children and a car, or two cars and holidays every year. And then we grow up and we realize life is much more than that. And the big picture, the what we're building, first we build it in ourselves. We build ourselves first, right? We get to know ourselves and it's like, or like snails or turtles, we, when we are comfortable in ourselves and we know who we are we're at home anywhere we're at home in our own skin and then from that we build we build something once with that once we're in alignment with ourselves and then it's almost like we can do what we came here to do and then something gets built from that we often do it the wrong way around right we think oh we're in our young early 20s so we're so young we're like okay the point in life is to get a house and all of this and or, or we do it the wrong way around we kind of do it backward there's a life unfolding here. That's the advice. Oops. So, think on your yes or no answer question now. Your answer is? Yes, go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button down there leave me a comment as well i do love hearing hearing from you and consider clicking that join button to be part of my membership as well after i go live from my daily meditation which i'd love to have you as part of on this channel um i go live for members only if you'd like to be part of that channeling collective channel collective my channeling part of that collective that channel <laughs> But then you can join, click that join button down there. Well, have the best day ever, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.